OAU professor to pay with his life for sexually assaulting female student. At least four people killed, several others missing in Poland. IMF upgrades Nigeria's economic growth forecast to 3.4%. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo and you are watching TOS News 360. The management of the Obafemi Awolowo University Ilei Fern Wednesday vowed that a professor of Yoruba incantations and stylistics, Joseph Okwefeitimi, won't evade disciplinary action for alleged sexual assault on Buluwati Febwabuni of the Department of Linguistics and African Languages. In a statement signed by the Public Relations Officer of the University, Abiodun Olare Wanju, the institution said the incident happened on March 18, 2022, and the student petitioned the school management three days later. The institution revealed that upon thorough investigation, Okpefe Itimi was found prima facie liable and won't evade the appropriate sanction. The National Executive Council of the All Progressives Congress Wednesday in Abuja transferred power to the Abdullahi Adamu led National Working Committee until July 2022. This is coming as the ruling party also pegged its presidential nomination and expression of interest forms at 100 million naira. The party secretary, Dr. Iola Omishori, disclosed this to delegates at the 11th National Executive Committee meeting of the APC holding a Transcorp Hilton in Abuja. An Akwai Bomb state-based televangelist John Okoriko has been kidnapped by some yet-to-be-identified gunmen it was gathered that the gunmen kidnapped the cleric on Tuesday evening when they evaded the headquarters of the church in his village, Ibekwe Akpanya, in Impat, any local government area of the state. Okoriko is the president and founder of the Solid Rock Kingdom Church. To news across Africa, multinational diamond mining and trading company De Beers has signed two investment contracts with the government of Angola to operate in the country. The license, which lasts for 35 years, looks to explore and mine in the northeast of the country and will be carried out as a joint venture with Angola State Diamond Company, Ndiama. Five militants belonging to the IS Cap terror group were reportedly killed by elite Kenya Defense Forces soldiers in eastern DR Congo. The UN Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo includes the force which has been fighting alongside militaries from Tanzania, South Africa and Nepal. It was gathered that the elite troops attacked the militant stronghold in Beni in an offensive onslaught operation. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360. More Africa global business and sports stories on return. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. The first day of the inaugural trial of a court formed to prosecute war crimes in the Central African Republic's long ruling conflict has been postponed on Tuesday to April 25th after counsel for the defendant boycotted the proceedings. On global scene, official report says four people were killed and seven others declared missing after a gas exploded at a coal mine in southern Poland on Wednesday. Polish Deputy Prime Minister Jacek Sassin tweeted that rescuers were still looking for seven other people. The company said earlier that 21 people had been injured and also spoke of two explosions. A spring storm has caused power outages across states in northeast and U.S. with over a foot of snow falling in some places. Some 300,000 customers lost electricity, 200,000 of them in New York State. As far south as Virginia, residents who have been looking forward to spring instead were greeted by wintry blasts. In business, the increase in global oil prices has caused the International Monetary Fund to review Nigeria's economic growth potential to 3.4% in 2022. The IMF disclosed this in its World Economic Outlook. In its January report, the Washington-based lender predicted a growth rate of 2.7% for Nigeria in 2022. 
but it was adjusted its projection based on increasing oil prices. To sports, Liverpool moved two points clear at the top of the Premier League table with a dominant 4-0 win over Manchester United at Anfield. Manchester City can regain their place at the summit against Brighton on Wednesday, but this was another thrilling reminder of how jogging club's team are determined to chase them down in the hunt for historic quadruple. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan African News Network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Mesa Fala Thanks for watching.